moving right along. Again, this chapter, just like previous chapters, we're just taking baby steps, okay? Go ahead and close this because you don't need it right now. All right, so chapter 7.2, we are just taking what we did yesterday, which is modeling the part, a fractional part of a whole number. And today, instead of calling it part of a whole number, we're calling it multiplication. Okay, so 7.2 is all about multiplying fractions and whole numbers. And your learning goal today, you'll know you have succeeded in math if you can model the product of a fraction and a whole number. Okay, let's, let's talk about that learning goal a little bit. When it says model, we know that we have to draw a diagram. When it says the product, that tells us we're doing what mathematical operation? Multiplication. And what two things are we multiplying today? All right, so if you can draw, if by the end of math today, you can draw a picture that shows the multiplication of a fraction times a whole number, then you've succeeded. Okay? But first, let's talk about the problem of the. It says Margo was helping clean up after a class party. Okay, if we read the most minutes out of fifth grade, we're going to get a pizza party too. Maybe Margot's class read the most out of all the, her classes, okay? Now, at the end of her cl class party, she was helping to clean up, and there were three boxes left with pizza in them, okay? And each box had three-eighths of a pizza left. How much pizza was left in all? Okay, Joseph, put on your glasses so that you can see. Thank you. So there were three pizza boxes left at the end of the party, and in each box there was some pizza. Was there a whole pizza in any of the boxes? No, nope, there's like just, a, you know, just some pizza. Okay, and we know that each box had three-eighths of a pizza left. What is the question asking us to find? Thomas? All right, how much pizza was left in all? Now, we know we could add these three-eighths plus these three-eighths plus these three-eighths and find the answer, right? But we also know that addition is the same as... Or sorry, multiplication is the same as repeated addition. Do we have repeated addition here? Yeah, because we're adding the same number over and over and over again. We're doing 3 eighths plus 3 eighths plus 3 eighths. So let's see how we can draw a model to help us model this, okay? So I know that 3 eighths times 3 is the same as 3 eighths plus 3 eighths plus 3 eighths. So if I did 3 eighths times 3, could that help me find the answer of how much pizza is left? Yeah. yeah. Oh, how do you know we're doing a whole number times a fraction? What is the whole number when we do 3 times 3 eighths? Yarden? 3. And what's the fraction? 3 eighths. So here we are modeling a whole number times a fraction. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and draw three pizzas, like you see here. Okay, you have one pizza, two pizzas, and three pizzas. And then we have to divide each pizza into how many pieces? Why do we divide each pizza into eight pieces? Siddharth? Okay. So we know that each pizza has three eighths left. Okay. We know that the denominator tells us how many groups we have. So how many groups do we have each pizza in? Eight. So go ahead and draw three pizzas in your notebook and then divide each pizza into three, or sorry, into eight pieces. Now, how much of the first pizza is left? Three, no, Oops. five, and that. Oh, yeah. How much of the first, how much of this first pizza right here is left? Three. Three eighths. So on your notebook, go ahead and shade in three of those eight. So one, two, three. How much of the second pizza is left? Three eighths. Three eighths. So how many pieces do we need to shade in? Three. Go ahead and shade in three of those pieces as well. And then finally, the last pizza, how many pieces are left? Three. 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 So how many do we shade in? Three. Three eighths. Does it matter which, eight, th which three are shaded? in? No. no. Okay. So then we can complete the number sentence. Three eighths plus three eighths plus three eighths is how many eighths? Nine, Nine eighths. And so we know that, again, this repeated addition, 3 eighths plus 3 eighths plus 3 eighths is the same as 3 times 3 eighths. So what is 3 times 3 eighths? 9 eighths. Then we just have to check to see, is our answer in simplest form? How do you know that our answer is not in simplest form here, Harshita? So what do we call this? Yeah, this is an improper fraction. 
Can you help me properize this fraction, Yarden? Right, so Margot had one and one-eighth boxes of pizza left.